and I wind down some, wind down some fine art. And this is the third and final part of how to paint a tiger. Alright, now we're continuing on with the chest and, and the legs of the tiger. You can see the, the main colour there is white, so I've laid, laid down a foundation of white and then I'm painting the stripes over the white and adding the colour into the fur. And the same with the leg. Main colour is the orangey yellow, so lay down a foundation of that and then just adding layers. And especially with that orange, I'm always picking up more than one colour on the brush. Be messy. Make it, you know, you can just continue to add layers and layers, working to light. More legs. Just adding the black claws, bit of shadow under the paws. And don't worry about letting that paint mix. But if you're fully concerned about it and you're painting that white, just leave a small gap where, the, where we've penciled the stripes in. But let your paint mix together. And if, if I were to slow it down, you'd see that I'm only, where I hit the black to the white, I'm only letting it mix just a couple of times, a couple of strokes of the brush. And always step back and look at your work. It's one of the main things, always step back and look at your work. Now we're on the downhill track to finishing the painting. So just using pure white, I'm going around the entire tiger, and then with another brush, I've mixed some red and blue to create a violet, more on the blue side, and painting that violet on where the tiger's actually sitting in the snow, and just mix it in with that, with that big brush that we use for the white and, and mix it and mess it up where the paws are because that tiger was stretched his, his feet out, his big paws and made a mess of the snow so add that in and you'll see that it makes a big difference when that tiger is actually sitting on something with that, with that shade with the, with the violet that we've painted in and also overlap the, the base of the tiger with some white as though he is pushing the snow out. There's some lumps of snow there. And then I'm adding all the fur and the snowflakes here and there on the tiger. Don't go overboard, it just needs to be subtle. But where we, we've painted the white up against the tiger, we're going to break that white up. With, we're just using a thin brush with the fur colours. So if there's black stripes there, we're going to add the black. And then all we have to do is add the the whiskers. Again, don't go overboard. There we go everyone. We've taken the structure of a tiger photograph, we've beefed the tiger up, we've added a winter furry coat and we've put the tiger in the snow. It's unique and it's original but there's one thing left to do and that's to sign it. So now all you have to do is frame it and because of the beautiful yellow orange in the tiger and the stark contrast of that white snow, a beautiful gold frame would really set this tiger off. Or even a rich timber frame. It'll be a stunning piece of artwork for your wall. And the best thing is, you painted it yourself.